guys a lot of people are getting this healthcare assistant just with visa sponsorship but then a lot of people are not qualified and they are still complaining that they are not able to get this job and they are not able to get visa sponsorship jobs and all of that sometimes when i see these opportunities i feel somehow sharing because of the too many complaints of not getting these jobs or they are they are getting like unfortunately emails and all of that and it is true a lot of people do get this unfortunately we are not recruiting from your country unfortunately we are not offering visa sponsorship to people in your country and all of that but then there are still this group of people that are getting visa sponsorship jobs to the UK, getting healthcare assistant jobs to the UK, migrating to the UK, sharing their testimonies that they are getting healthcare assistant jobs with visa sponsorship. So sometimes when I still see this opportunity, I feel guilty if I don't share it. But today I'm going to be sharing other options, especially for people who are not willing to or who don't have the necessary qualification to work in healthcare, but they have this passion to care for people as well. So these two new options, I'm going to really, really plead with you to watch this video to the very end so that you get the whole gist. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get the whole gist and you come to my DM and I'm not able to respond to you, then you become part of these same people that are complaining that they are not getting visa sponsorship job and all of that this thing being a, a hoax and all of that so guys please watch this video to the very end and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video so that many more people will be informed so people will be informed before making these kind of life-changing decisions okay so guys please stay tuned let's go welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is linda Aze. i'm a registered nurse and i lived and worked in the uk for a while before moving to the us here i share information about nursing abroad work and study abroad and remote job opportunities worldwide lots of people have been helped by it. so many of my content moved to the uk recently getting ready to move to the uk getting visa sponsorship jobs and that motivates me to keep coming back here so join the family and let's grow together okay so let's go these two jobs are similar and you might be thinking they are actually the same at the end of the day but i just want you to get the whole gist so the first one is nanny so nanny is just what you know like in simple terms someone that looks after children mostly it can also be an adult that need additional help maybe an elderly person and all of that so someone that provides care to usually a family they are called nanny but there is another one as well that i'm going to be talking about that is similar to this and people are, begin, are using this opportunity and it has been existing for years but the thing is that people are also being sponsored like their visas are being sponsored to work in the uk when they get this kind of job because they are also classified as skills that are on the shortage occupation list so nanny jobs people are also getting nanny jobs in the uk in germany in netherlands in the uae to work and they are offered visa sponsorship so in the uk as well you can also get a job as a nanny with visa sponsorship but the thing is that it might not be the way people are saying it so for you to be a nanny in the uk you need to get a family that is able to sponsor you and for that family to be able to sponsor you they need to have that license to sponsor so now i'm going to show you where you can look for these jobs but the note of warning as well is that even when you see the job some of them will not say whether they are going to sponsor you or not but the truth is that if you're able to find a family that is able to sponsor you not just a family that will say hey i want to sponsor you but a family that has the license a government license to sponsor someone from abroad to come and look after their their loved ones in the uk then that is a good one but i'm also going to share with you an article that one of of these agencies they actually made explicit on their website that I found really very interesting so that people will not fall into the wrong hands okay so let's go so one of these websites that I've seen someone talking about is this kinder nannies and private staffing recruitment agency so when I explore this channel I noticed that they look for nannies around people that are already in the UK people that are in the EU and they have like um, jobs they have like jobs for people even for people that are in Dubai in Netherlands in Germany so if you go here nannies right so they have like British nannies and they have bilingual nannies so in this bilingual I notice they have like German nannies French nannies Spanish nannies Italian nannies and all of that so they have like so many of these nannies right so you can look for this nanny job and then 
and yeah so they said okay professional learning jobs like apply direct to any job or register with us below and all of that so be the first to receive details of new top professional nanny jobs nanny jobs in london and international okay so now this is like a huge place where you can actually look for job and signing up to look for job here is actually free so guys just stay tuned right so they have like candidates here they said candidates for candidates that's if you're the one applying right so if you go here they have like international like British nannies, German and they have mentioned that. So here, candidate jobs and career options. So if you go here, you also see um, so many of their jobs, right? You need to just check out your current positions. You need to first of all register and then you will be able to see this opportunity. So they have vacancies at home and abroad. So I went to their blog, their blog post here. And that was where I now searched for visa sponsorship. So let me see if they have anything at all about the visa sponsorship. So on here they said, hope, hope for UK families looking to employ nannies from overseas. So if you are looking to employ a nanny from overseas, there is some hope as long as you, the family, have a helpful employer. Uh, as everyone is by now aware, the UK government in government's introduction of the skilled worker visa post brexit has barely helped anyone to hire an international nanny as the conditions required for it are very restrictive however if you're the one if you are one of the lucky ones then you may be able to arrange sponsorship for your for your foreign nanny to work for you in the uk so this potentially means that you can employ your nanny from almost anywhere in the world EU nannies, American nannies, Filipino nannies, so the nannies need to meet the visa criteria. So the nanny must earn minimum of 25000 per year and be on the market rate salary. So nanny must have a good level of English, absolute minimum level of B1 in English, okay? So foreign nannies can only be sponsored to come and work in the UK by a company employer who has trading history this means if you're a family with your own company then your company might be able to apply successfully for a sponsor license and sponsor and and sponsor a nanny from germany usa france etc so it is also possible that the uk company you you yourself are employed by okay so what i want us to get from here is that if you are one of the many nannies looking for sponsorship, said, I'm afraid we cannot help. You will need to find a family who will be able to arrange for visa sponsorship. To these nannies, a note of caution says, there are likely to be many scammers out there. Do not pay upfront for anything. And if you do find a family who says they can sponsor your visa, make sure you go through a reputable UK agency, which is a member of this association of nanny agencies. Okay? So, visas are not needed by anyone who already has right to work in the UK. So, if you already um, have the right to work in the UK, you can easily look for this job, right? So, say that there are also, also other visas Nani can apply for to come and work in the UK. So, you have the Youth Mobility Visa, the Ancestry Visa, and Graduate Visa for UK. So, Graduate Visa for UK, you can use it to work as a Nani. Youth Mobility Visa. You can use it to work as a nanny in the UK. Ancestry visa. I'm going to leave a link so that you also read because I feel this is really, really explicit. What I so you have it, guys. This actually nanny job they do exist not just in the UK but so many other countries. But make sure that anyone, any of these nanny jobs that you are applying for, the person you are going to work for, just like they have recommended here, meet the guideline. They belong to a regulated agency. They are able to get. A license from the government so that you will not enter one chance that is so you will not find yourself into trouble so guys the second one is to work as an au pair so so this one people are talking about it but I was wondering how possible that could actually be and I noticed that this has been existing for years because I was looking for a nanny I was looking for like a care here in the US and I discovered that so many of these things actually exist and they call it 
sometimes they work as if it's an exchange program so you come to the united states or to uk or whichever country and you are paired with a family you are uh, uh, expected to look after their kids or something for a number of months and they give you a particular kind of second website is called the little ones premium child and education so all pair jobs so these all pairs all pairs are foreign nationals usually aged under 30 they can come from many different backgrounds and bring different levels of experience to the role this can make selecting the right au pair for your home a difficult process for example do you need an au pair with specific language or cultural sensitivities so maybe your children have certain needs so you need an au pair to accommodate so there are so many there are there may be also issues if you need an au pair to travel regularly with family okay so what duties do an au pair undertake the au pair can be quite broad the the key role is taking care of children although an au pair are not fully trained nannies in addition so these au pairs are not fully trained nannies so it looks as if the nannies are expected to be more trained that's why you see that they can even earn a minimum of twenty five thousand pounds right so for the au pairs it's as if they have less skills sometimes it's even um college students who just want to be able to travel to another country in an exchange program so during that stay they are paired with a family that needs help with their children and then within a, a number of months they can go home and continue their studies something like that so if you have like a strong tie if you have like if a college student or something like that then this is exactly so this tells you everything about so the opens generally come from overseas which can raise a lot of um, visa issues right to work in the uk especially if they come from outside the eu so although this may change Possibly other issues to consider include the hours you would like the au pair to work. So some people have found success working as an au pair. I even read about the au pair for the US and it seems to be an interesting one, especially for young people. And then you can, through that way, you can start studying in that country. You can start, I mean, like find, grow your career in that country. So those are the two ways. I believe this is just the beginning of your research if you have if you're a professional nanny if you have the passion to be a nanny to work in the uk and all that these two websites i find them very interesting i also read more about being an au pair in the united states and i felt like it's really really a good option especially if you don't want to work in healthcare you just want to look after children in their own home and you also want to study so look into nanny jobs look into au pair okay i recommend that even if you are going through the healthcare assistant job route make sure that you have a plan I, when I was in the UK, I really, really felt somehow when I meet some people from my country and they had, they told me they have stayed there for 20 years and they are still doing like some caring jobs. In my mind, I'll be like, why? Why would you stay in the UK for 20 years and you are from another country? It's not like you're from the UK and you are still doing like some this kind of job like i feel it is it is not the best it is good it helps but i feel like if you have been following me in this channel since this healthcare assistant job became very popular and all of that my own my my whole recommendation my top recommendation is that when you go to another country try to upgrade as fast as possible so that at the end of the day you even provide more value to that country and if you decide to go back home as well you'll be able to provide more value back home as well so guys don't just be distracted by making a whole lot of money especially in the beginning try to have a concrete plan so that when you go there you quickly quickly upgrade that is why i'm bringing to you a new series in this in this channel where i'll be educating you on how you can really really upgrade your life outside your home country and if you move to the uk as a healthcare assistant how you can quickly upgrade how give really really show you and you know i teach you everything i have learned in these few years that i've stayed abroad so make sure you join the telegram channel so that when we start that i'm going to be doing a q a in that telegram channel and i'll also try to like expose you to so many opportunities that are available in the uk and how you can you really really take advantage of these things okay so thank you guys for watching and i hope you've got one or two things from this video and i will see you in my next video